SpongeBob! Let me show you, Patrick. It's all in the technique. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I didn't even get to show him my best bubbles. Oh, I don't like this. You there. Come through here if you wish to save your friend. Who are you? Did you take Patrick? No, but there's no time to explain. Time is short and your friend needs help. Into this portal, quickly. If that's what I need to do to help Patrick, And there are a lot of places in this place. What if a woodchuck's name was Chuck? What then, huh? Um, Patrick, are you okay? My 
my brain! G give me my brain back! But Patrick, you don't have a brain! If you don't give my brain back, I'll take it back! Patrick, I don't want to fight you! You're my friend! Brain, brain, brainy, brain, 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 On the other hand, I don't think Patrick's quite himself right now. I guess I have no choice.
you get here and not fall under my control. That's not right. I guess you're just a mistake I will have to correct. Uh, huh? Wow, barnacles! <laughs> I am more powerful than ever. You don't stand a chance. Finish! Let's start over. Rewind. What just happened? My legs and arms seem to still be in the right places, so I guess I'm okay. You there. We need to talk. I thought that was it. The end. No more SpongeBob. But here I am, alive and well, and as absorbent as ever. Hey, listen to me. Hello? Hey, wait a minute. I'm on dry land. How can I even breathe? What the barnacles is going on here? I'm trying to tell you something, Sponge Boy. Hey, that's Sponge Bob to you. And who might you be? I am Clockwork. Master of time. I rewound time and brought you back here, just before you were defeated. You want to get home, and I can help. But we must take time to work together. Work together? Yeah, I don't think Mr. Krabs is hiring at the moment. Patrick, I'm glad you're all right. I was so worried. SpongeBob! Yay! You're in my dream, too! Awesome! Um, I don't think this is a dream, Patrick. Everything feels really... real. You've helped your pink friend break free from a bad case of mind control. Side effects include disorientation, dry mouth, and an urge to cartwheel. You're here because we have a mutual enemy, a ghostly creature named Vlad Plasmius. And so we are allies. Enemies? I don't have enemies. Enemies are just friends you haven't met yet. Besides, I'm not afraid of ghosts. Ooh, have you met the Flying Dutchman? He acts scary at first, but once you get to know him, he's not so bad as ghosts go. He taught us a ghostly pirate how once. It goes, uh, little, 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 little. I assure you, this ghost is truly fearsome. He has gained the power to control the mind of any intelligent being, as well as your sea star friend, from any world he chooses. His ultimate goal is to control the minds of everyone in the universe. He must be stopped. Oh no, if he could control Patrick like that, think what he could do to people with minds. It boggles even the mindless. So you see, you must stop Plasmius. To do this, you must find and defeat him in battle. Well, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I have a shift at the Krusty Krab coming up. And I want to get back to learning how to blow bubbles. Hmm, this might be harder than I thought. You look lost. I suppose you too were unceremoniously teleported here. Time manipulation, interdimensional portals, mind control powers. It is as fascinating as it is scary. 
This place is begging to be studied. I'll begin investigating its boundaries immediately. This could revolutionize the very foundations of science. Meanwhile, do feel free to browse the inventions I have with me now. Surely you'll find something useful. if I say so myself. Feeling adventurous, hmm? I've invited helpful individuals from many worlds to aid you huh? in your quest. A moment. One last thing. Take one of my time medallions. Should you fall in battle, I'll rewind time as many times as necessary to ensure your ultimate victory. This time medallion will make you immune to temporal changes, thus ensuring you remember everything that's gone before. You'll grow stronger as a result. You must keep it with you at all times, understand? Good luck. I don't need luck, I have square pants. on in Jimmy's lab. Now that I'm here, it's even more of a mystery to me. Another satisfied customer. Finish!
Figured out the difference. I mean, they're both like really hot. Nice one. Finish. Hello, please point the camera at what? No creature threatens a thornberry. Lessons? I didn't know you did private tutoring. No, SpongeBob. Even if he did, I don't see any boats around here. Oh, you're right, Mrs. Puff. There's no water either. So how could there be boats? No water? My SpongeBob, this is quite unsettling. I suppose without boats, it must be hard to know what to do with yourself. You must feel adrift. Or you would if there was any water. Yes, well, you do make a point. Just for that, I have a reward for you. Take it, SpongeBob, and leave me alone, okay? Oh, dare to control my magnificent. 
disintegrate.
Three, two, one. against a ghost dragon. You really think I'm scared of you, Pipsqueak? of things in this lab that can help you fight that you know, who's a what's you're dealing with. Uh, one thing I didn't find was ice cream. Very disappointing. Because I could eat ice cream all day, you know? <laughs> and I would. Bye-bye! Finish!
Wondering, pondering, contemplating, speculating, if you couldn't possibly, maybe, feasibly, conceivably, go play somewhere else! Finish! You'd think being a passenger in your own brain would be relaxing. with you. Can 
not buy the honor you have earned today. Now that we're done, wouldn't you like a nice Krabby Patty? Finish! isn't so bad after all. No boats, no lessons to give. And you know what that means? No students! <laughs> I'm gonna shellack you! Everything else in life, we have. 
no choice but to endure it till it's over. Hard-hitting questions from me. and unattended, I, 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 I'd just rather not think about it. I like your style. Finish!
Ready! I'm here because of a call from Washington. Your power pales in comparison to mine! You've done well making it this far. Color me mildly impressed. But this is the end of the line. You can't stop me. Not now, when I'm so close to my goal. I'll stop you, all right, or my name is in SpongeBob SquarePants. And it is. Confident, aren't we? That'll just make beating you all the more satisfying. have started your day with a healthy breakfast. Actually, you didn't defeat me. This is just a ghostly clone. <laughs> Fool you! Just a little reminder before I go. It's over. I've already won. Might as well just give up. Wait a minute. Can you even clone a ghost? Better be kind and rewind. Finish! This is not the end. Hmm, my apologies. The explosion you just witnessed was the inevitable failure of Vlad's plan, and a sign of how dangerous his game really is. Vlad Plasmius is toying with powers he doesn't fully understand. If he continues down this path, I'm afraid the cataclysmic destruction of the entire universe is assured. He can't do that! I have the early shift at the Krusty Krab tomorrow! 
You see, that ghost clone was a decoy. I confess I led you right to it. You'll need to face and defeat the real Vlad Plasmius to prevent the cataclysm. Hey, what gives? It was a test. As the master of time, I can observe what was, is, and will be, alongside its countless possibilities. I knew you weren't ready to face the real Vlad Plasmius yet. You needed to become stronger. So, I led you down a path to face one of his clones to test your mettle. I do apologize, but I hope you understand. Aw, you just wanted the best for me. Thanks, pal. As I said, it was a necessary deception, and you're well on your way to confront the real Vlad Plasmius. You must now find his lair and defeat him once and for all. Don't forget, this time he'll be the real deal, much stronger than any clone. Make sure you are prepared before facing him. My, my, these readings are quite something. Not entirely unexpected, but if my hypothesis is correct, then it means that this slimy substance acts as a shield against ghostly energy. That's why we're safe here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get back to a little project our host asked me to attend to. It's supposedly vital to help with our current dilemma. Excellent choice. Do be careful out there. Bow, bow, bow. Gary! Now that you're here, I don't have to feel quite as homesick. Bow, bow. You are so right, Gary. And don't worry, when this is over, I'll give you lots of snail bites. Thanks, Gary. You're always inspiring me to do better and better.
this to me. I am Sardana. I am all powerful. You cannot defeat me. My power is limitless. I am immortal. Oh well, thank you for having me. We meet again. Beware! You're not facing a clone this time. This time, you're up against the unbeatable team of me, myself, and I. You don't scare me. I've been practicing my karate. Such confidence. I like it. You'd almost make a great sidekick. You could watch in awe as I control the whole universe. I mean, it'd be nice to have an audience to witness my ultimate victory. But leaving you in control of your own mind could be problematic in the long run. So I'm afraid I'll have to deal with you immediately. here and stop what you're doing. Now send everyone home. <laughs> I've worked far too hard for it to end like this. Computer, initiate the overhaul protocol. Control every mind across the entire universe. Initiating startup sequence. Warning, to charge below safe levels. Activating the overhaul protocol will lead to core instability. Executive override! Proceed overhaul protocol! Proceeding. Error. Core module levels critically damaged. Wait, what? How can this... No! This can't happen! Not again! If it weren't for you, this time, I was supposed to have... Um, other ghost? A uh, little help, please? from activating the mind control failsafe procedure on his machine. I asked the scientist to invent a device to help you accomplish this. Talk to her before you depart. Good luck. Yeah. 
Well, it took a little bit longer than expected, but I managed to finish the energy dampener that our host asked me to make. This little gizmo should disable the doomsday machine I've heard so much about. With it, you should be able to avert catastrophe and whatnot, I believe. This is just as great as my friend Sandy's gadgets. You should meet her. You'd like her. Oh, well, then the energy dampener was a fun little side project, but I must return to my slime research. I believe that I'm close to a breakthrough. No, where was I? Looking for some upgrades? An excellent choice. That one? Very well. An excellent choice. An excellent choice. If I do, I earn a good noodle star. You don't know what you're talking about. I have to see it through. If I don't, we're all doomed. The only way to save everyone is for me to control everyone. Can't you understand? Nice try. We can't both be saving everyone. Forget it. I won't let you stop me this time. Computer, initiate the overhaul protocol. Now! I said, initiate the overhaul protocol at once! <laughs> I'm afraid your machine doesn't work anymore. Time to give up. Me? Give up? Please. I probably just need to turn it off and then turn it back on again. Which I'll do after I take care of you once and for all! Oh, I, I, I cannot be defeated. 
It's not supposed to end this way! For a ghost, you're not so scary. It's over with, and now you have to send me and my friends home. No, no, no. Now you've really done it. You've doomed us all! Wait, no. I was close. So close. I just need one more chance. Quit whining, Plasmius. Your time is up. No! Barnacles! I'm not having a very good best day ever. It wouldn't hurt to just ask, would it? Say so myself. Do be careful out there. What do you want? Hey, what are you doing here? And why are we still here? Ha! Even now you remain ignorant. Obviously, I'm trapped here, same as everyone else. I see why the nice ghost would keep you here, but if I beat you, shouldn't he be sending us home? You know nothing, do you? How I, the greatest ghost of the universe, lost against creatures like you is truly beyond me. But that doesn't matter anymore. You ruined my plans, but you're the ones who will pay the price. Soon you realize you made a big mistake by stopping me. Just you wait and see. Yeah. Ah, there you are, friend. We've been waiting for you. We must discuss our next steps. I'll be blunt. I fear the Dark Force may be telling the truth, and our host has no intention of returning us to our home worlds. But what would he stand to gain? Besides, weren't you saying not to trust anything that dastardly creature might say? Yes, but I'm concerned about our supposed host's absence. That coupled by the presence of the Dark Force, does not bode well for us. We'll need to find him and confront him about this immediately. Um, well, <laughs> I'm not so sure directly confronting such a powerful being is the wisest move, but I can pinpoint his current location if that's what you really want. The time medallions still seem functional. Then our friend here should use it to travel to our host and ascertain his intentions. Only then will we know what we're dealing with. Okay. 
like you did with the others. If you weaken me enough to return to the timeless star dial, there may yet be hope. Whatever you do, do not listen to... anyone but me. Yet you still defy me. I warned you, now you'll get what you asked for. A fight. Which is perfectly fine with me. I'll still win, but from what I've seen, you'll be a worthy enough opponent. When you are ready to challenge me, come to my lair, if you dare. Dare to be square? I'll be there! a secret? Vlad's mind control device was flawed in two ways. One small and one, well, very, very big. Here's the small one. It doesn't actually control minds, but simply replaces their personality with an angry, aggressive one. So it's not like he could build some conquering army or anything. In fact, he had no real control over whoever was affected by his machine. Take me, for example. I have no compulsion to serve Vlad Plasmius, and I've grown rather fond of smashing things and people and such. You've had a taste of that, so you know how wonderful that feeling is. But smashing isn't wonderful, it's terrible! You have to stop this and come back to the star dial. You'll be your good self again. Nonsense. Not while we're in the middle of non-stop fun. You see, Vlad's machine had a big flaw that caused it to blow up, destroying the entire universe. So much fun to watch, and I can simply rewind time and watch it over and over forever. 
programmed each time, just before it does, you'll be sent back to the timeless star dial so we can battle all over again. An endless battle right on the edge of total oblivion. Oh, how exciting. To quote my friend Sandy, you're nuttier than a fruitcake stuffed with peanut brittle. Think what you want, sticks and stones. Now it's time for battle. Prepare yourself. not celebrate until we're safely back at the timeless star dial. Come. towards another being, but I really must thank you. My recent memories are patchy at best. The only time I was truly myself was when we spoke here at the Timeless Star Dial. But as soon as I wandered beyond this pocket dimension, the other me hijacked my mind. A result of being exposed to Vlad Plasmius's machine when I tried to disable it. It destroyed the universe, something my evil self came to enjoy witnessing time after time. Why didn't you just say so before? Let's just say that at the beginning of our journey, it might have been a little TMI. You succeeded anyway, as I'd foreseen, when I was myself, of course. Vlad's machine has been destroyed, and everyone has been freed of its influence and it won't destroy the universe either. All of this was thanks to you, and now you may return home. Think. I can't believe 
believe you did it. It should have been impossible. Well, when the fate of the universe is at stake, this sponge steps up. Oh, please. I would have been the one to save the day if you hadn't kept defeating me before I could fix my machine. Fix it? What, to blow up the universe more? Look, I built that machine to control minds, but even I didn't plan on blowing up the universe. Do you know how many ghosts that would have resulted in? Yikes. Here's the thing Clockwork didn't tell you. When I discovered that my device was going to blow up, I was going to try to fix it. But the evil Clockwork sent you to stop me before I could. All because he liked watching things blow up. So you really were going to fix it? I'd say ask Clockwork yourself, but he won't remember. You see, Clockwork tried to destroy my machine, but I managed to bathe him in mind control rays first. The machine blew up, destroying everything shortly thereafter. So he caught me in an endless loop to watch it over and over again. But each time I remembered what happened next. So I came up with a plan to fix the machine and stop him. And to stop everything from, you know, blowing up. But, master of time that he is, he saw through my plan and brought you in to stop me from being able to fix the machine. So you see, I'm actually the hero of this story, not you. And certainly not clockwork. I guess we're all the heroes of our own stories. Fine. Believe me or don't believe me, what do I care? But it's over and nothing's blown up. So who's to say I didn't save the day after all? Hmm. Yeah. Oh my, it can't be over already. How time flies when you're lost in research. There's still so much more to learn here. But perhaps it's for the best. If the wrong people found out half of what we now know, well, no need to go down that road. Sorry I'm late, except I'm not sorry. Time ghosts, ghost ghosts, destruction of the universe, <laughs> whatever. Buy something or get lost. <sighs> this portal will send you back home. The time medallion I gave you, however, will remain here when you go, and you will lose any slime powers you have acquired. Sadly, you will also lose your memories of me, the timeless star dial, and all of your adventures here. This is to ensure these terrible events cannot repeat themselves. You may return home at your leisure. Meanwhile, you are welcome to remain here as long as you wish. And I'd be willing to spar with you as well before you leave. It'd be a friendly battle, but don't expect it to be an easy one. 